people i record because that's how i that's how i function and as, as you can hear in my voice i'm very emotional so i've just heard the buzzer went and i looked through the window i sat at the window and i saw the police standing at the door so i opened and i went out and when i went out it was pc holly sweeney and another young lady and yes they were wearing ppe so i went out i said good morning she handed me the envelope and they were leaving and i asked the other young lady, what's your name? And she said, she's Chelsea. So I said to them, I want to talk to you. And during moments like this, I, I become very emotional. And you can hear it in my voice and everything. And I'll show you the shake starts. <laughs> but that's who I am. <laughs> I guess I, I have to live this, with this for the rest of my life. And that's why I try to avoid the triggers when I become emotional and I lose my dignity. But these are the moments. So I explained why I asked for her name. And I said it was my grandson's birthday yesterday. It was two. And today is my mother's birthday. So it makes it even more <sighs> a bit of an issue. So I explained to um, PC Holly that whatever I'm doing, I'm not doing it to be negative or nasty or anything. I just needed her and I said to her, I'm referring to you as my granddaughter. I said, I'm doing everything in my power for her to get the help, support needed so she can become the best police To bring about changes. I said I want to work with you guys to help bring about that changes. But until I release whatever is happening to me, this is the way it's going to be. Because I shouldn't be sitting here now putting in a complaint about whatever has happened to me. This person has been in contact with me by, via email to clarify. And instead of clarifying what was done... He too joined in to discriminate against me. So Holly said she wanted to take this to me to develop, to deliver it personally. And I'm see they have done the right thing now. My address is correct. If I never put my foot down, I would not be getting these courtesies and respect. And I I won't be. It's not sealed, but I can't deal with things. I get overwhelmed. So I'm not even going to look at this letter till I'm finished that. And as you can see, I'm not lying. This is how I, f I manage to function. So it's I have to compart compartmentalize my life. So as you can see, this one doesn't have my address correctly. I try to emphasize... <laughs> So I have these to sort out, yeah, private and confidential, I haven't opened them, yeah, I'm just showing you, that's no whole team, I need to take my computer to get sorted, another one private and confidential, maybe my bank, another the one Parkinson's, because these are users, and I'm filtering, filtering out, yeah, and that's another one. So maybe this is from the bank. I'm filtering out all the users. So I really appreciate them taking the time to, as she said, deliver it personal to me. So that's mending fences. And as I explained to Holly, I said, you are the end result of what happened. Because the police failed to act. When I, I phoned them up to say I was being threatened. And yet they turned up to section me. So this is... That's from the IOPC, Ratna Kanam. As you can see, this letter is in relation to, to your appeal about the Metropolitan Police Service. Yeah? And this is summary of Mrs. Mervy Lee Myers meeting at Sudok Police Station. So, at the end of the day, I want what is best for PC Holly Sweeney and 
that led the team. This was, should I say, she was put in a very difficult situation where she felt she had to act because she was given wrong information because the powers that be did not support her and give her the correct information and they made me out to be a victim. So none of this is the fault of Holly Sweeney and I want to put that on record. Yeah? And I want to be there for her as a young woman who was born after the time I came here and if my son had started a family I could be her grandmother and that's all I'm going to say at the moment. But I'm preparing my case. I can't let anything take me back. Yeah? I'll be the loser. I've lost six years of my life. Today is my mom's 97th birthday. And to think that I only heard my mom's story on the January when I was there for my son's wedding and she died the 1st of May. I must do this for her and anybody else who has been through struggles. And if it's possible at some stage, I would like to meet with Holly's mom to say, this is how we're going to empower your daughter. Yes, I'm coming. I'm coming. Yeah? Yes, Tom, I'm coming. I'm coming. This is how we're going to empower your daughter to fight for the rights of women and disabled people.